All right, so this chapter is about acids and bases. And so we have pHs. pH is how acidic something is. pOH is how basic something is. The lowercase p just means that we're gonna be using a log scale. So we need to know how to use your calculator. Now the question's gonna tell you something like the hydronium ion concentration is one times 10 to the negative five. Those brackets, they just mean concentration in this unit. And you can think of concentration, remember, as molarity. And we'll go into details on that on the next video. So how do I input that in my calculator? Plug in this number first. So one, use your second and your E if you're on a Texas instrument. And then don't use the minus sign, use the negative five. Hit enter to make sure it makes sense. One, two, three, four, five. All right, it does make sense. Okay, do that first. And then hit your log button. Okay, your log button is right here. Log, second, answer. So I am taking the log of the hydronium ion concentration. And the last thing I have to do is change the sign which you could have just written down if you didn't want to do it that way. And that gives me five. So the pH of a substance with a hydronium ion concentration of one times 10 to the negative five is five. Now in this example, you can actually see it because we have a one here. You're not always gonna have a one here, okay? So always go through this process so you get it stuck in your brain. Put in the answer first, okay? Then take the log of the answer and then flip the sign. POH is even easier because pH plus POH equals 14 because remember it's a 14 point scale. So if I know the pH is five, what's my missing number? That means my POH is nine. Now sometimes they're gonna have you go the other way around. They're gonna ask what is the hydroxide ion concentration when the pOH is, from part nine, is nine. So sometimes you go the other way around. And so for that one, you are gonna go 10 to the negative and whatever that number is. Okay. And so in this case, 10 to the negative nine, okay, you can just say, if you want a scientific notation, one times 10 to the negative nine 